class of 2023 and a woman in gender studies major. And today, I'm going to show you guys how absolutely beautiful this campus is at this time of year. Just take a look around. Especially when I'm standing here outside of the dining hall with its beautiful stained glass windows and Ryerson Commons, a place that we're allowed to eat when it's much nicer and warmer out. However, we can have nightly fires here in the fire pit if we want to, which personally, as a s'more lover, I'm a fan of. Something else I really love about this campus was when I came on tour here, I came here during the really cold winter time. However, I was led on a beautiful tour. At every point of the year, this campus is magnificent. In fact, some of the reasons I came here was because of how close to the lake, how absolutely stunning the snow is off the trees, and especially after I saw some pictures of during the fall season, how awesome it is to just be able to play with the leaves all day, which is something I don't know if you'll do, but I do a lot. In fact, one of the most beautiful places to look on campus is my favorite spot on campus. Follow me. The Glen Park Bridge. Something that really grounds me, especially during these busy midterm seasons, is to come to the bridge and just take a walk around it. With its beautiful view of the lake, or even my own dorm building, Glen Park, which, fun fact, was the mansion of Henry Wells who founded Wells. Or even just the beautiful stream that runs underneath. It really grounds me and lets me know that this is where I belong. Another kooky, fun, spooky thing, especially for the week of Halloween, that really connects me to the bridge, is the ghost stories! Now, I really like the ghost stories on campus, but my absolute favorite is the one of Miss Wells, which arguably is the most popular here at Wells. Imagine this. The year is 1890. Miss Wells, the wife of Henry Wells, is in her rocking chair in Glen Park which is, as I said, now a dorm building. However, Henry is sneaking out those front doors and walking across this bridge here to meet Miss Pettibone of the Pettibone House, which is now our admissions building on campus, but used to be where the secretaries and other staff at Wells house. They're meeting up for an affair. Things are getting spicy. However, on this bridge, Miss Wells knows what's happening. So a few nights later, it is freezing cold, one of the coldest days of the year. Miss Wells sneaks out right behind Henry Wells. And when they're not looking, she stabs Miss Pettibone, cementing her to the bridge. However, Miss Pettibone's not the ghost that haunts her. Miss Wells is. Her vengeance completely destroyed her until she herself became an entity of the bridge. The stories say, that if you're crossing the bridge late at night and you see one of the lights flicker, don't look behind you or else Miss Wells might be there, her knife in hand, coming after who she thinks is next to cheat on her with her husband. I've never had that experience. However, I do go ghost hunting every night to try to find it. It's something that's really cool about Wells. With all of the fun things that happen here, I can do things like that. And it's really cool to know that just because I'm in higher education, I don't have to leave those fun things of my youth behind. It's something that's really awesome and I appreciate it. Maybe you also could come and see how cool and fun Wells is. Thank you guys. <laughs>